welcome back to my channel. I showed you a few clips earlier. I was at uh, Soa Med Spa in the South End. I went to Blank Street Coffee on Boylston Street, and then I went to Mini Lux in the Prue, and I got my nails done. Haven't had a French in forever. I'm so excited. So tonight I'm doing something different. I'm cooking, which I, you've seen me meal prep, but I don't always cook. So I'm making something special tonight. I'm making a spaghetti squash. Shout out to my friend Isabel for giving me the suggestion and the directions. So if you want to see how I make this healthy spaghetti squash, then just keep watching. Okay, and so here are the ingredients. This is the spaghetti squash. This is the olive oil that I'm gonna drizzle inside of it. I don't normally cook with olive oil, but I am tonight. I'm gonna chop up these mushrooms and this tempeh. That's gonna be the filling. And then I thought it would be a nice little twist to do a spicy sauce, so I got that. And then the green beans I'm just gonna do on the side. These I'm just gonna steam in my air fryer. I mean, my... um rice cooker here there's like a setting for steaming vegetables so let's get to it before i start i'm just gonna have a little bit of sparkling water one glass this is my little skims outfit which is so cute my first skims piece now my second skims piece the first one was a pair of socks two boats. I have to just scoop out the seeds. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a drizzle of olive oil and I'm gonna do it down based. Okay, olive oil. I'm gonna add the salt. And then this is supposed to steam for half an hour something like that 40 minutes okay so i checked and it's supposed to be face town and then i added these little pokes with the fork and that helps it to cook so now we're putting it in it's gonna be 30 minutes from now okay so while that is going i'm gonna work on the toppings so i'm gonna chop up and cook the mushrooms and the tempeh and I'm gonna pan sear it here with the sauce. Excited to try this recipe because I love pasta. If you know me, you know I love pasta but after I gave it up for my last competition I realized that like I just have pasta too much and it's 
it's kind of better when you just save it for like once in a while. Like, I'll still get pasta once in a while when I'm out. But making it at home just doesn't really benefit me with my other goals. So. Hopefully, I mean, I've tried chickpea pasta. I love that. And then I'll try this spaghetti squash and I think that's gonna be a good replacement. This I'm just cutting up into little cubes and I'm gonna steam it first with some water. Looks so yummy. I'm also starving, so. Okay, so this is on. That's on. The tempeh is chopped. And then I'm gonna also chop the mushrooms second. Let me so add the tempeh. Start on the mushrooms. I'm gonna just do like similar size as what I did, but with the tempeh. Before I started, I obviously preheated the oven, but I put all of these ingredients into my life sum so I could get an idea of how many calories were gonna be in the final product. So I will let you know when I know how that all turns out. the mushrooms in as well. I'll show you what this looks like. Okay, so there's the tempeh mushroom mix and I'm just going to keep steaming it, adding a little bit of water so it softens and then I'll add the sauce. And then for the green beans on the side, Those are just gonna steam in the rice cooker. This is moving along. It already smells so good. I'm just adding now this spicy sauce and then I think I'm gonna turn the heat way down. And then when it comes out of the oven, I'm gonna top it with some nutritional yeast and some dairy-free oranges set the table all cute so almost time to eat 